This is the graphic for the uh, presentation that I'm doing called Art of the Story, and I'm really kind of excited about it. But I wanted to share a little bit about what's actually going on in this picture. Of course, it's not original. It's a collage. It's a whole bunch of different things that I put together to try and show the different ways that art was used to tell a story and the different ways that art can be used to touch hearts and minds. I mean, if you think about all of the images that are in this video, in this picture, there are, uh, most of them are extremely iconic. You know exactly where most of them came from. And most of them have a story all their own. We see the Mona Lisa, of course, maybe the most famous painting of all time. And we have this, this image of her, and we have all these stories about how it may have been a self-portrait of da Vinci and all these other things. It's a painting that created so much talk, and even though there's not a lot of story in it, people have been looking at this mysterious piece for years, drawing their own conclusions and making up their own stories about it. The sunglasses on her, by the way, are from the poster from the movie The Hangover, and I just kind of put them on to sort of make her a little more mysterious. I didn't see the movie The Hangover. I know very little about it, except these really cool glasses were on a very cute little baby. And so I just decided to put them on again to add to some of the mystery of the character. Uh, the, or the easel that's before her, the paintbrushes and the palette that are in her hand are from Van Gogh's self-portrait. And uh, again, I just put them in there because, you know, we think about Van Gogh and all the story behind him. And as you look at his self-portrait, you think about all the torture that was going on behind those eyes of a man who was deeply troubled and very talented. Remember, Van Gogh never sold a paint. I think he may have sold one painting in his entire life. This man whose paintings now sell for millions of dollars a piece made no money on his art at all. And of course, uh, there's also the story behind the background picture of this, which is Starry Night. Again, another story, a uh, powerful story about a man who was burdened and hurting and burned. And if you notice, the lights in the church are out. And uh, that's a big part of the story of Van Gogh, who was at one time a preacher who was more or less rejected when he was trying to be a little too Christ-like. Um, the Yellow Submarine, of course, the iconic image of the Beatles and that whole idea of, of uh, the 60s and all the things that were happening in, happening in the American story during that time. That's why that one is there. Um, you see the, the clocks from Persistence of Memory uh, by Salvador Dali, these drooping clocks, and there are so many different stories behind what was actually going on there. From everything from it was just a landscape that he was working on, couldn't quite figure out how to finish. He saw some dripping cheese and decided that he would do something with the clocks and people take that all the way up to this image of the idea that there is uh that, that, that time is unstoppable and unmovable and, and but yet there's things in the universe that are more important than time uh, we see King Kong there in the background, this, this uh, story of, of a beast who, who takes on this woman and, and, and protects her and becomes her protector, and, and there's no one to protect him. Uh, and we, we th I think about, every time I see that image, I think about the newest King Kong movie um, where Jack Black is there, and at the end he makes the conclusion that beauty is what killed King Kong. And as I look at that, it's just so troubling to me because, no, what killed King Kong was Jack Black's character who couldn't leave well enough alone and decided to capitalize on something that really should never have been capitalized upon. We see the cow jumping over the moon. You might recognize that from a Chick-fil-A ad, but it is just this idea of the moon in the story. And I thought about the cow jumped over the moon from our old uh, nursery rhymes. And I just thought about it and thought, why not plug it in there um, to, to think about our childhood imagery and the things that we remember from our childhood, the stories that stick with us for years and years and years. Again, just another example of story. Uh, we have Munch's scream character in the foreground there. Uh, just uh, just a real troubling piece even before the uh, before the scream movies came out and, and really uh, immortalized that face uh, in the very background you see the demon from Disney's Fantasia and I put that in for a couple reasons number one because it's from the master storyteller of our time Disney and uh, also because you know we think about all these images and uh, it goes with the image that's in front of it the image of the hand of God creating uh, and, and that there's always the devil in the background sort of ready to, to wreak havoc and, and mess with God's creation. 
And so I put the hand of God in there to remind us that God is the creator of it all, that we are children of the ultimate creator, and that everything we do is a reflection of him. And then finally, we have uh, Snoopy, Snoopy uh, fighting the Red Baron. Again, the, the reason I put that in there is for a couple reasons. Number one, I love Charles Schultz. I love Snoopy. But another big part of the reason that's, at, that's in there is because there are stories that we make up in our mind, just like, di uh, just like Snoopy fought the Red Baron that really wasn't there. We also make up these own st our own stories in our minds that mess with us. And sometimes we just need to give those stories up and lay them down. And we need to realize that we need to deal with what's really in front of us and not make up enemies. You know, the Bible says that uh, we should not worry about tomorrow for, because tomorrow will have enough worries of its own. So keep these things in mind. This is just a little bit more of the background of this presentation that I'm going to make and I just thought I'd share it with you. God bless.